I'm so excited to be here with you all today. What is it to be a care receiver? I met with an accident uh, six years back and I injured my spine. I was hospitalized uh, for so many years. I don't know how many of you can understand it when I say that it changes when you get a spine cord injury and then you become a dependent. Kind of a new world. I don't know how my thoughts are or I don't know what is happening in my the whole body. Normally you will undergo a surgery and then you will be referred to a physical medicine department for physiotherapy and you will have an interlim catheter and otherwise you will be discharged home saying that okay you have to do physiotherapy and then that is how and your life is going to be in wheelchair for the rest of your life and you are sent home you don't have your house the whole house for the rest of your life you will only have your bed and that that space not even your complete room because you can't access anything when it came to a situation or a day where i have to decide on going home I was able to sit for some time and I knew that I could do something and then I didn't want to go back home and simply waste my life there. I, I never call it life because it was just an existence for me if I just go there and sit there for my whole life. Um, then I found Palin India. I knew that I could do something and I didn't know how well I could do it but they welcomed me wholeheartedly and asked me to do whatever I can and then from there I learned the whole help I get uh, to live my life is not my not a charity and it is my right from society as a person in the society. It was a life changing experience to know that and to live that and then to start smiling from the heart. Now, I work as an executive assistant to Dr. Ajay Gopal and then we have got a paraplegic rehabilitation center over there. So I talk to them and I will be there with them to help them go through that life. Then I work with a team called UNAV. We have got a bereavement support group and there are children who lost their parents. These are some lives I've met in the last two years. This is a young mother of 34 years old. She herself was dependent, but more than being a dependent herself, she was worried about her children. They needed her care, love in so many ways, but she couldn't do anything for them. Next is a young girl. She was doing her undergraduate. She was very passionate about being a teacher. Her life changed unexpectedly. She forgot her dream about changing so many lives. So here is another young man. He couldn't study. He was always dependent on his parents. He never thought about having a life, an independent life on his own. There was a girl who was studying in 7th standard. She lost her mother to cancer. Dad didn't want her. She told me that my only friend is God. I always feel that when I go and sit with them, like they can, they share it uh, easily with me, their worries or their problems. They feel that, okay, they are, I can understand them better. Than and these four lives, looking at me coming all the way from Ernagulam to Trivandrum to work uh, without even having a proper use of my hands. She was wondering, okay, what is this girl going to do? And I have got an able hands. Why can't I do it if she can do? She can at least think about coming and doing things like this. And she was happy when she was discharged and then she went home and then cooked food for her children, plated their hair, 
and then children was very happy and and she's a very good friend of mine now i sat with this young girl for so many days and then we had some meaningful talks about what is life what is goal and then what should we be doing and that changed her life and she thought why should i change my dream and then i can be in a wheelchair and then still be a teacher who could change her change so many lives and this young man she he told me personally that now i have the confidence to live independently in an accessible environment find a living and then take care of my young brother this girl he calls me she calls me for everything and then i'm so happy about her and i'm a companion to her this is what i have learned about being a palliative care receiver and provider all my help what i get is my right and not a charity and it reminds me that helping others in whatever possible way is my responsibility and i believe a society is harmonious when both balances not just me but all these lives you have seen here all people can be a giver and receiver at the same time and so that we can live a life with dignity